Hello. In this presentation, I'm going to take you through an introduction to working capital. The management and financing of working capital are the subject of separate presentations. Specifically, this presentation will cover what is working capital, what are the objectives when managing working capital, how do we measure it, and why is it important. Let's look at each of these in turn. What is working capital? Working capital, or net current assets, is represented by current assets minus current liabilities. In their simplest form, current assets will include the inventory that is sold, the receivables due from customers in respect of sales made on credit, and cash. Current liabilities will include payables owed to suppliers in respect of purchases made on credit. Collectively, it reflects the short-term investment that companies make in their day-to-day -day operating infrastructure. It has been described as the lifeblood of an organisation. In other words, businesses cannot survive without it, and whilst its significance will vary from one type of entity to another, most, if not all, organisations will require some level of investment in this area. Objectives of working capital There are two objectives, one, profitability, and two, liquidity. Profitability can be improved if a company appears attractive to its current and potential customers. A customer who likes a company will buy more and, conceivably, be prepared to pay more for what they do buy. A company can appear attractive by offering generous credit terms or by holding lots of inventory. High inventory levels suggest that a business can offer a wide choice and or fast delivery. Liquidity refers to the amount of cash and cash equivalents that a company can rely on when meeting financial obligations, i.e. paying the bills. Unfortunately, these two objectives conflict. For example, to promote profitability, a company may use all of its cash resources to acquire inventory. However, Having done so, they then have no way of settling debts. Accordingly, working capital management is concerned with finding the right balance, i.e. investing enough to attract customers, whilst at the same time maintaining sufficient liquid resources. The compromise required can be depicted by the cash operating cycle, and this aspect will be discussed in more detail in a separate presentation. How do we measure it? The simplest measure of working capital is the current ratio, calculated as current assets divided by current liabilities. For example, a company with current assets of £200 and current liabilities of £100 has a current ratio of 2, 200 divided by 100. This indicates that they can meet their short-term liabilities twice over. But let's look at this relationship in a little more detail. Assume that a company has current assets of £500 comprised of cash of £50, receivables of £100 and inventory of £350. It also has current liabilities, represented by payables, of £250. As above, the current ratio is 2, 
500 divided by 250. However, let's consider the practicalities of the situation. Imagine that all of the suppliers to whom we owe money, £250 worth, turn up on our premises demanding payment. The only way to satisfy the immediate demand is to give them cash. However, we only have £50, which still leaves £200 worth of liability. Our next approach is to persuade the suppliers that we are owed money by our customers and that as soon as we can recover that, we will settle with them. This should buy us some time. However, we are only owed £100 and even if we can collect all of it, we will still owe a further £100 to our suppliers. The only resource now left is inventory. However, can we turn inventory into cash quickly enough to keep our suppliers happy? The only true answer to this last question is, it depends. It depends on what the inventory is and the line of business you are in. If you are a supermarket and inventory is loaves of bread, they were baked this morning and are cash in the till by lunchtime. If, however, you are a construction company and inventory is bags of cement, this will take much longer to turn into cash. Notwithstanding this debate, it may be more appropriate to exclude inventory from the current ratio. So current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. This more prudent view is called the quick ratio or asset test. There is no such thing as a single correct or optimal value for the current or quick ratios. However, we can get a feel for the appropriateness or otherwise of the ratios by comparing them to industry averages or similar companies in our industry. Why is it important? As described above, companies need to find an appropriate balance between the conflicting objectives of profitability and liquidity. Failure to get this balance right can have damaging and potentially catastrophic consequences. An organisation that invests too much in working capital is sometimes referred to as overcapitalized. Conversely, a company that does not invest enough with insufficient long-term finance to support it is said to be over-trading. Thank you.